How's it going everyone? My name is Bradley and welcome back to Raven's Backstory, Short of Memory. Short Story Memories, whatever. Last time we left off, Raven Um Owen, I think his name was, and the girl that he has formed the girl they put in his team. Accepted into his team. They were playing this mock siege warfare thing. So I am um, anyway. Let's just let's just see where we've gone so far. As General Cronwell's adopted son, adopted, huh, I enrolled into a military school for gifted children of nobility. Oh, so he was adopted. Okay. I formed a team with the two that I met by chance to participate in the mock siege warfare, which is where we were. Last time, the mock siege warfare started by Owen's command. Yeah, I was right. We begin to move quickly. Ugh, sorry I'm not able to talk well, I'm not much for commentary and I can't just think of stuff right off the bat. Right off the bat. So now we're up to here. I came to realize that doing something with others was much more enjoyable than I originally thought. That's why I love to be with friends. But usually I'm alone. Even though one of my friends is online right now. And probably a few members of my girl, but that's not important. Let's get to read. We won. We won! Cirrus, that was her name. Cirrus's shout came from far away. I seemed to have slightly sprained my ankle, but didn't hurt at all for some reason. Was there ever a day when the sky looked so clear? I smiled without realizing. We won. We won, Owen. Raven. My god, it's so stop dragging me. I felt Cirrus and Owen's voices coming closer. I brought myself up to sit and looked up at the two. Raven, are you hurt? Here, grab my hand. As I grabbed her one's hand and stood up, I say I saved in my mind the sight of the broken castle gate. Enemies angrily glaring this way, and Sarah carrying a flag and smiling brightly like a child. It's all be Owen, it's all because of you. It will be an insult to my family if I can't even lead this kind of battle to into a victory. Thank you both for following up properly. That's enough thanking. Let's hurry up and go to the infirmary. Your ankle's red. It looks swollen. Cyrus worriedly went to the other side of Owen to support me. She then grimaced as she glared at the group of enemies. I hope Cyrus would just pass us over quietly, but she seemed extremely angry for some reason. <laughs> Wasn't those nobodies. It's fine. Winning in this child's play wouldn't have satisfied me anyways. That's right. You won't be able to do anything after they graduate. You might as well try winning in this child's play. Cirrus's steps seemed as slow as I expected. She stood in front of the enemies and became enraged. <coughs> <coughs> Is that a thing to say after hurting someone with a cheap trick? Cheap trick? Who? Us? Isn't that something only a chick from a lowly family like you uses? Yes, be honest. You just came in a nab a guy from a good family, right? If only thing and you have to show for yourself is a pretty face and use it properly. Use your head a bit. Damn. What do you mean by Cirrus's voice started to quiet down. What I felt from spending a week with this girl was that she was always bold. Confident and thought pos positively. An opposite person from me, but a girl like this was biting our lips as such smooth words coming from so-called high and noble families. Is that how your families taught your manners? What? How dare a, numb, a dumb commoner? Aren't you guys past the time to be acting like kids? Mocking us like this won't change the fact that you guys lost to us. Shut up. Try saying that again. Oh, well, I can understand you guys being so angry. The day you guys will beat us won't ever come after all. You guys can't beat us in, even in here, so I don't even need to mention after we graduate. A group of enemies were grinding their teeth as they look and looking towards my direction as if they jump at me in any moment. Sirius pulled on my sleeves of a startled expression. I'm fine, so let's go, alright? You need to get your leg treated. Yes, leave it at that. We need to rest for tomorrow's exercise. Especially you, Raven. You hurt your legs so you can't overstress yourself. Even when Owen got between me and the enemy group as he led me away, 
I still have mountains of words to throw at them, but regret but regrettably started moving due to all in, in Cyrus's words. How about you check who you're up against before facing them next time? How dare you? Rage-filled shouts came from mine as we didn't mind as we left the place. Uh, why am I not good at talking sometimes? I'm not that much of a talker. I'm usually quite silent, so I'm sorry about that, but I did my best. Raven sure knows how... Ugh, see... Raven sure knows how to bring some burns. Though he hurt his ankle. I'm sure he'll be alright. Raven's pretty tough. Well, I'm off to record the next part of Elsword's story, so... Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry again about my talking. I don't really talk very much. Plus the writing was quite small. Don't know how to make that bigger. So, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe to my channel. Click on the annotations on screen if you want to see more Elsword or the backstory or whatever. I'll put up the playlists right here as my mouse is moving back and forth. And I'll see you guys next time. Later everyone.